Hey friends, this is wellness coach Molly Stroud and I just want to give you an update in case you've been noticing that I started my travel vlog videos and they sort of just kind of went kind of paused and halted on those. So if you've been wondering, um, I have not put them out yet for a couple reasons. Um, number one was that, okay, so in July, <clears throat> I spent July traveling and visiting family, which was really, really great, especially during times of Corona. It really makes us realize how important family connections are. So I was sort of busy traveling and actually taking the videos and working my day job as well. Um, and then August came and I'm thinking that this was a similar energy for a lot of you because from what I'm hearing, <clears throat> August was like, I don't even know, just a wreck. Okay, August was a straight wreck. I feel like all these months of Corona were kind of rolling, like I got these projects, we're doing fine, you know, I'm working on business stuff, I'm networking, you know, I'm, I'm focused. And then August was just like piles of stuff, uh, piles of stuff for the day job, emotions bubbling up, uh, you know, a lot of out there in the collective consciousness and in myself and everybody that's connected, um, anxiety, depression, just dealing with a lot of these deep emotions. Um, I know a little bit of astrology, but you know, not enough to call myself an astrologist by any means. But um, whatever it was, the conjunctions, but it was, it, August was just really intense. Workload, emotion load, um, a lot of stuff. And so the reason that I've been putting off the travel videos is because, number one, I've been super busy uh, with catching up with my day job work, as well as um, we had a litter of puppies that I've been taking care of, and we just got a couple chickens. So the chickens are great. Yard birds all day. They take pretty much no effort. They're great. Um, but you know, puppies and dogs are another story. So anyway, and, um, I've had like 50 hours worth of training for my day job, uh, a whole lot of, of workload happening right now, in addition to being a single toddler mom. So, oh, and keeping up on, um, I don't know if you're aware, but the I stand with Sophie, I've been really keeping up on that, which has taken a little bit of time because um, it's caused me a little bit of research. But yeah, I've been keeping up to date on the I Stand With Sophie case. Um, really important, really, really important. Uh, very passionate about child welfare and uh, ending human trafficking and uh, the abuse of children. So I've really been keeping tabs on that, even though I don't really watch the news too often. But um, that's been really on my mind and on my heart lately. So... That being said, um, if you, along with this I Stand With Sophie, if you feel the pull, right, to help children, um, you can get involved in your local community uh, and you can become a foster parent. There are a lot of things that you can do to help children in your community. It's really, really important because um, they need adults to help them speak their voice. So, um, summary, August insane right now we're into september and september seems like it's smoothing out and super happy for that um not sure what the planets are doing exactly and what they all you know but at any rate we had a full moon on the second and it seems like everything's sort of reset seems like everything's flowing fine so fingers crossed for september okay um and s moving forward with these travel videos i will publish the travel videos the reason that I've paused, number one, is that the heavy workload and the stress, but also um, there was a lot that happened down in Florida. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot emotionally, a lot, just a lot. Um, I actually worked really well uh, far away, you know, because when you don't have your house and all the... Um, tasks of your house, the cleaning and the pets and all that, you can actually focus on what it is that you're doing. So um, that was great for focus and work and getting some computer work done and working my day job and building my business and all that. Um, however, what was re a really big deal was the social aspect. Um, I got to see my family and friends for the first time in, you know, three years, 
except for like once, maybe a year and a half marker in there. But um, yeah, it, it was really huge. It was huge for Josie to get to see uh, her cousins and her aunt, her dad for the first time that she's really ever remembered. Um, so it was just, it was big. There's a lot of emotions in there that we will discuss on later videos because I don't want to keep this long. Um, but yeah, we will discuss all sorts of new topics that will come up as the videos come out. But um, yeah, there was definitely a lot of emotions, a lot of just, just stuff bubbling up. We've all got past feelings and past traumas. And I think a big deal of August was that many of us were working through, um, you know, our shadow sides and our traumas and our emotions and our relationships. And we're all introspecting and kind of working through these things. So that being said, travel videos will continue to come out as I process them. I'm definitely on a learning curve. I'm using like three different types of software to make videos. So I'm trying out what works, you know, iPhone versus camera. I'm trying out different video editing to see what works the quickest, the most efficient, um, and produces the best. But of course I'm on a learning curve. I am not a professional videographer. So bear with me there. Um, but yeah, travel videos will be coming out and we will be discussing some really great topics as the fall comes in and we will be focusing more on videos and more on sharing. Uh, I just really needed a break for August after, after all that happened in July and you will be updated on that soon. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm pretty much an open book. I, um, honest to a fault and something that I, 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 I'm polished, but at the same time, I think what's, really uniquely beautiful is that yes we are spiritual beings living a human experience and it can be very easy for us to want to just be you know the perfect form of our souls that we want to be we can say oh you know I want I just want to be um in my essence in my spiritual essence I just want to be you know the positive soul and that is part of our experience and that is wonderful and we can find that through meditation however part of our human existence is being human and it i find something incredibly beautiful in the rawness and the realness and when we can share emotions and share our flaws and share our worries and our faults and um our scars and you know those rough edges are what make us unique and what make us vulnerable and what make us somehow uniquely beautiful. So we'll be getting down to some nitty gritty conversations here soon. Um, things are kind of balancing out. Thank God for September. Okay. <laughs> Thank goodness that things are chilling out a little bit. So please reach out. I tell you what, I'm, I'm here. I know a lot of friends are struggling right now with um, depression, anxiety, relationship concerns. Um, if, if you're one of my friends, please reach out. I'm here. Okay. Like I've been a counselor for years and I'm always telling friends, Hey, I'm here. Confidential open book free for you. You know, especially if you're, if you're family, if you're like the friend's family, okay. Open book right here. And, you know, no charge. Um, plus if I know what it is that here's why I want you to come to me is number one, I can help you. Okay, I can help you kind of reframe your mind and feel better about yourself so you're not wallowing in your problem alone because we all have that tendency, right? But number two, what you're struggling with might be what somebody else is struggling with. So if I see a pattern here that it's like, wow, people are really struggling with this certain issue, um, of course everything is confidential, but I can reach out there and help more people and say, hey, you know what? This is going around. Um, people are having a lot of problems with toxic narcissists or, um, you know, romantic relationships. And that way, that issue can be addressed. So by you healing, right, you're not, not only are you healing, but we're also um, gaining information and sharing it with others so that others can heal too. So um, I am here for you, friends, family, acquaintances and uh, new friends and family and acquaintances. So um, please feel free to reach out to me at any time with questions and I am more than happy to help um, because that is my goal and my life purpose is 
is helping others. And, um, you know, I transformed my entire life. I was miserable and heavy and just a unhappy, um, put down type person and, uh, completely transformed. And I've seen both sides of the coin and it's much brighter over here. <laughs> so please, anyway, I'm here for you. I love you all. And, um, Good things are coming, I promise. Keep your heads up out there. I love you. Bye.